After a week sailing from Seychelles, we arrive in Nosy Bay in Madagascar. Hello, this is Carlos and I am Linda. We are living in our floating house Mirni Oken. Welcome in our YouTube channel 22 South, where we invite you in our dream for a circle navigation. As soon as we arrive next to the coast of Madagascar, we can see beautiful local boats. The marina of Nosibe offer you some facilities like the dinghy dock and moorings or you can anchor for free. First impressions from Madagascar. Just jumped out of the boat and we are gonna get some internet, some grocery shopping, and we are gonna get something else done which I forgot. Hello! Our friend from Half Chasing Star arrived a few days before us and Amy organized a tour to see the whale shark. We are very excited, even if when you pay this kind of tour, you are never sure to see them. So we have arrived to the dive center where from here we will go in a little boat to try to see the whale shark. We are very happy with this diving center because they follow the rules of the association who protects the whale sharks. We discover after that this association do also tour so you can contact them directly. So it's one boat after one boat. You notice that we are only six tourists in this boat. It's really important to follow these rules, but we saw some other boats with 15 to 20 tourists on board that can bother the whale shark. After a bit of time searching for them, it's a day of luck for us. The whale shark is a species of cartilaginous fish, exceptionally able to reach 20 meters in length for a mass of 34 tons. This shark is considered to be the largest fish on earth. Devoid of aggressivity, this shark is perfectly harmless to humans. Its lifespan is estimated to be between 100 and 150 years, but the oldest specimen collected was around 70 years old. This giant of the seas feeds mainly of plankton, algae and microscopic animals. Its huge mouth can measure up to 2 meters wide and allows to filter 2,000 tons of water per hour. To compensate for the small size of this prey, he has to swallow a large amount of food, almost a ton of plankton per day. The shark sucks the water, closes his mouth and expels water through his gills. The authors do not agree on the mode of reproduction of the whale shark. He appears to be oviviparous. The gestation period is not known but some authors suggest that the whale shark can reproduce every two years. No one knows where they mate and give birth. 
Due to its slow reproductive cycle, the whale shark is especially vulnerable to overfishing. Indeed, although many whale sharks were fished in Taiwan at the end of the 20th century, among the specimens collected, very few mature females have been recorded, a sign that individuals of reproductive age are declining, which could have consequences on the number of births. The species is considered endangered. On our way back to Nosy Bay, we stopped on another bay to see the big green turtles. The green turtles own his name to the color of his fat. It's the fastest of the sea turtles. It can reach speed nearly 35 km per hour. Sexual maturity can be reached between 8 and 15 years old. The adult male can be recognized by his long tail. The young green turtles are essentially carnivorous. Then it feeds almost exclusively on plants and seagrass beds. Our friend Amy and David has to leave and we decide to sail down the coast a few days with them. On our first stop and five hours later, we arrive to Honey River, where we spend the night. The next day, we sailed around six hours to arrive to Antanimora. With our friends from Starry Horizon leaving, we decided to start sailing back north, stopping on a couple of islands on the way. video looks a little bit different than others and that is because this little puppy our hard drive of two terabytes has died and we cannot access many of the many good images that we have from this incredible place sorry okay bye bye see you next week bye